Despite all the challenges, the Office of the Auditor General and that of the Controller of Budget, both independent offices established under the Constitution and basically meant to ensure proper use of public funds. Now let's start with Edward Oko, who has just left the Office of Auditor General after his term and has protested the gap in law which does not clearly guide a transition, leaving his office without a substantive replacement as we speak. Well, at least the role of the Auditor General is clear uh, as it stands, and it includes uh, being auditing and reporting the national and county governments, as well as also uh, the accounts of the National Assembly, the Senate, and the county assemblies, and he is also responsible for auditing and reporting on the political parties funded from public funds and the accounts of all funds and the authorities of the national and county governments. The Auditor General also looks at the accounts of the courts, commissions, or any entity that is publicly funded. The Auditor General also audits and reports on public debt and confirms and reports on whether or not public money has been applied lawfully and in an effective way. And then, with all these reports and audits, submits to Parliament or the relevant county assembly for appropriate action by Parliament or county assembly after debate. Now, to the other important office that work hand in hand in making sure that public funds are, were, are used well, and up until August 26th, that is uh, Monday, Agnes Odiembo has been controller of budget, but that has changed. Stephen Masha has just been appointed acting controller of budget for the next three months. And here's a look at his role. The mandate of the controller of budget generally entails overseeing the implementation of national and county government budgets, preparing, publishing, and uh, publicizing statutory reports conducting uh, own investigations or also following up on public complaints and coming up with alternative dispute resolutions uh, to the various disputes that come up. And it is also the responsibility of the controller budget uh, to advise Parliament on the transfer of funds to state organs and also public entities authorize any withdrawal from a public fund based on law. That means they can also disapprove uh, the withdrawal of funds if it doesn't follow the It reports to each house of parliament every four months. So all the best to Stephen Masha as he holds that uh, particular position. And of course, he was a deputy, so it's not quite new turf for him, but all the best as he carries out his responsibilities.